Hey folks, this is Jaron with DIY Prepper and I wanted to do a quick kind of combination video where I'll do a, an unboxing of the Ring Stick Up Cam plugin. Um, also show y'all how to set up and install this thing and then at the end of the video I'll uh, show y'all some footage that it captures after I set it up so that you guys will know kind of an idea of what the video quality is and then the audio um, has 1080p HD video, but, uh, for some reason, all 1080p HD isn't the same. Some of it looks better than others. Um, it allows you to talk back and forth, whether or not that's with somebody you want to be in your home or not. It's motion activated, has night vision, and this particular one, as the name suggests, has plug-in power, but you can also have a battery backup with, with it, which is which is nice. The stick-up cams are pretty much the same camera, but whether or not you get the stick-up cam plug-in with the plug, stick-up cam uh, battery with the battery, that's really the only difference is one comes with a plug, the other comes with the battery. Um, and then, I guess, well, I know you can buy batteries extra. I'm not sure if you can buy the plugs separate. But this is the one they had in stock, so I went ahead and got it. That, and I don't want to have to fool with uh, constantly, you know, having to worry about is my battery charged and all that. So having a plug-in helps with that. So say hello to Ring. Hello, Ring. Okay, inside is a handy-dandy sticker to let people know that your house is protected by Ring. Um, has just your standard instructions, has a uh, setup guide. I'm not really going to show that full thing just because it's a QR code. I don't know if somebody could use that to hack into it later on. And then has information about the, uh, the Ring Protect that uh, Ring offers. Uh, that basically allows you to go back and review footage that the camera has captured. So for as of right now, uh, one camera is $3 a month, and then if you have basically more than three cameras, you can do all of your Ring devices for $10 a month. So if you have four or more, that's the way you want to go. All right, so looking at the camera itself. Okay, uh, it has an adjustable base. It can move... Uh, Move around like that. That allows you to get kind of a, uh, a downward angle video. Okay, and then kind of side to side, front, back, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I was telling you a second ago that it can't accept a battery. And all you do is turn the cap and pull it off. That's where you would put the battery in at. Okay, then right here is the mounting bracket. Well, oh, there we go. Okay, you just slide that down. You can attach this part to the wall and then attach the base to that. So that's how that works. All right. Next part is the, uh, the accessories, which is primarily the cables, which I really like, by the way. Okay, it has two cables, one of which is just the indoor cable. This plugs into the back here. You take that rubber stopper out, plugs right into the camera that way. Okay, but what I really like about this is this cable, it's only about eight feet long. Okay, so there's not much reach there if you're planning on using it inside, but... You push this little button, where am I going? Oh. And then this slides off, and then you can attach the outdoor cable, which just snaps in. And this will give you uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of, I believe, uh, somewhere between 23 and 25 feet. I think this was eight feet, and I think this was, um, well, anyway, probably should give you a little over 20 feet of length there. Next thing it comes with is mounting hardware. 
It comes with some, um, looks like some wall anchors so that you can attach the mounting bracket into a wall or into a ceiling. Although if you wanna do ceiling mount going down, um, you'll need a separate one. So this probably wouldn't be good for that, but it has wall anchors for your wall, screws for that. And then also these smaller screws are used uh, for some, some security points. Like, I think if you knock that little stopper out there, one of those screws goes into there and prevents people from being able to uh, access the battery compartment. And then also, I believe you can uh, put a screw in there to secure the base into position. All right, so I will switch cameras out and then I'll start showing y'all how to set it up. Okay, all right. So talking about setup, we go to the app store. We find the Ring app. It is that one right there. I'm going to install it real quick. After the app is downloaded and installed, go ahead and open that up. Okay, it's going to ask if um, you would like for the app to send you notifications. And considering that this is a security camera, I'm going to go ahead and allow that. Then we create an account. After you set up your account, it's going to ask you to check your email. After you get that email, you'll click on the link. It'll uh, confirm that. Go back into the app and it'll ask you if you want to link your, uh, your Amazon and your Ring accounts because Ring is by Amazon. And I went ahead and I skipped that. And for your security, it's gonna say set up two-step verification by text. After that, it's going to, uh, to find your neighborhood. You'll enter in your home address. After you go through all of that, it's going to welcome you to Ring, and you will click Select a Device. And then, since it's one of these, you'll select Security Cams. Okay, it's going to uh, request access to your camera so that it can scan the QR code on the setup instructions that came with it. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. After you put in some location information, um, as far as where you'll be using the camera. Uh, it'll ask you if you're installing the stick-up cam indoors or outdoors. I'm going to go say indoors because it's in my garage. Uh, will your stick-up cam? Nope, it is not looking outside of a window, so I'm going to say inside the house. Uh, custom name. I'll go ahead and say garage. Okay. Uh, how are you power? I'm going to say electrical socket. Okay. Now connect the power adapter and wait for the stick up cam to turn on. Okay, I already took that little rubber stopper out. So I'm just going to plug that in. Okay, so a little blue light's on. To ring. Ooh. Follow the instructions in the ring app to continue. Ooh, it's talking to me. It's kind of creepy. All right, waiting for the stick up cam to enter setup mode. And light is flashing blue, so I'm gonna to continue to the next step. Okay, it's, at, it's saying the uh, app wants to basically join the camera's Wi-Fi network, so I'm gonna say join that. Ring would like to find and connect to devices on the local network, I'm gonna say yes. Stick up cam is connected to the Ring app. Okay. Uh, gonna connect that. Oh, and now time to enter my massive password. I'll do that off camera. Okay. All right, so it is now connected to the internet. Uh, fill in the blanks with snapshot capture. Okay. I'm gonna say got it to that. And it's now set up and ready to go. I'm gonna continue. All right, folks, so after you get um, the camera connected to your Wi-Fi, allow it to do its updates, things like that. Then you need to figure out how you want to mount your camera. In my case, 
I am going to be securing this to the wall so that I can kind of get a um, kind of a high view of my garage. Keep a, keep an eye pretty much on the entire thing all at once. So to do that, I'm going to need to remove the screw so that I can move this um, this base plate from the bottom of here. Okay, after the screw falls out, that just pops right off. Then you'll need to remove this little rubber plug. Make sure it is going the right way. Okay, there's a little up arrow there. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna put that screw back down in there. and then tighten that in place, okay? So now what that'll let me do is if this is the wall, I can kind of angle that camera down so that I'm not just getting a bunch of footage of the ceiling, okay? After you get that installed, you'll need to remove the base plate. It just slides off, okay? If the up arrow is this way, then kind of slide that down. The next thing that you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to set your camera up. One thing I did to help myself is I put up the cord first. I plugged it into the wall, ran it up the wall, ran it around to about where I thought I wanted my camera to be. Then I used the base plate as a template to mark my holes. I then drilled the holes. And you want to be really precise when drilling those holes. Uh, once you have your holes drilled, knock the wall anchors into the wall. You might need to use some sort of hammer. Rubber mallets work best because they tend to not tear up the wall anchors as bad. Then put the base plate against the wall anchors and drive the screws in. Once you have the base plate attached to the wall, slide your camera back down onto the base plate until it clicks. You can then insert the power plug into the back of the camera and you should be good to go. All right, folks, so here we are. We're in my garage. I have the ring stick-up cam set up in front of me. And this is kind of the, um, the um, picture quality and audio quality that you can expect from the ring stick-up cam inside of a larger room with just the regular lighting. The only lights that I have on in here are uh, the two fluorescent fixtures that I have in the ceiling. Uh, you can kind of see one in the corner, I believe, but there's no extra studio lighting. I don't have a mic on. I'm just using my outside voice. Uh, so if you kind of want to get an idea of what uh, the picture looks like with a moving subject, this is it. Uh, also, I just want to uh, kind of do a disclosure that before I shot this, it did say that I had a poor Wi-Fi connection. So if the video cuts in and out a little bit, if the audio kind of goes dead for a second, that could be why. Uh, anyway, so this is what the Ring Stick-Up Cam can do inside of a garage. And uh, another disclosure, y'all probably saw in earlier in the video that I installed the camera uh, kind of up a little bit higher. Well, I didn't want to publicize the contents of my entire garage to the internet because there's a bunch of weirdos out there. Uh, who knows, one might be watching right now, you weird, weird person, you. So I kind of wanted to do a shot that's not really uh, giving away everything. So I will do night vision next. Okay, so with, this is what the camera looks like in night vision mode. Uh, I have no lights in here. You can probably see maybe some flashing uh, from my phone. I'm just keeping the app open so the video stays going. I didn't want to risk it cutting out if it was just on uh, motion detection mode. Uh, but, I mean, this, this garage is pretty much pitch black. The brightest thing uh, that I can see in here is the blue light from the, uh, the ring camera. I can also see the two red night vision dots above that. And there's a little bit of light coming in from the cracks. Uh, in the garage door, but just to give you an idea of if you had a like prowler inside your place at night, they're moving around, this is the kind of footage and the kind of video quality that you could expect, uh, maybe even if your Wi-Fi connection is maybe not the best, I mean, not great, not terrible, something along those lines, because that's what I'm dealing with inside of here. But anyway, so this is what the ring cam looks like.
in night vision mode. 